Hey guys, you're here with Mitra, and um, I recorded a video for you guys today um, that I was going to upload on Saturday. I'm going to try to get my upload days to be Tuesdays and Saturdays, but anyway, I did a layout, and it turned out to be like 17 minutes long, and that was before I even started embellishing it. Um, and I, I'm, I wasn't talking in it. I was just going to upload it and put some music behind it. But um, it just got too, too long. And so I may still upload that video and insert pictures behind it. But um, behind the video, on the end of the video. But I'm not sure. So I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to let you guys see the layout now. And uh, this is a picture of Sydney when she was a baby. She's about three months maybe in this photo. Um, and she'll be four in April. But she was so cute in that picture. And I hadn't scrapped this particular picture yet. And I don't think I have. It looks familiar, but I can't find a layout with her with this picture on it. So anyway, I made these, I guess, watercolor type of flowers just using some Lindy Stamp Gang color shot and um, I just outlined in a pen and so I explained all that on the blog post that I posted today so I'll link um, my blog below so you guys can um, kind of read about the details but this is the layout that I did on the video I may upload it I may not because it just is gonna be like 20 minutes long even maybe even 30 because I like I said I was barely I was like halfway there um, so what I'm gonna do is take the um, what do you call this the scraps and stuff that I didn't use on the layout and I'm gonna make a card um, on camera I think you guys would like that it's very improv too so it might not even be pretty but we're just gonna go with it this might be cute Right, so I use the, a ruler a lot to kind of rip my pages. I think I the first person I saw do this was um, Tracy on Mercy Tierra here on YouTube. And I really like the idea. I mean, it gives the distress edge without having to use the paper distressor. But then it also cuts at the same time okay the girls are upstairs playing I've asked them to be quiet but they are girls and that might not happen so we hear screaming they're okay So um, all this paper that I'm using is from Crate Paper, by the way. It's uh, This piece came from that pack of, you know, at Michael's. I think it's at Michael's. You can get the um, Best of Crate Paper in the 8.5 by 11. Well, that's what this sheet comes from. Uh, this yellow piece I actually painted on just some white cardstock to get that color. I'm just ripping pages as you, papers as you can see. I'm gonna staple it just to keep it in place. <laughs> I'm so lazy. Isn't that lazy? I'm, I don't even want to like glue anything down. Okay. Don't forget about my little water cutter color doodle here it might not make it on not with that that doesn't really match oh, this might be cute okay I like that see we just coat covered up our staples I think this is going to make the cut it might not no I don't think this will let's get some chipboard out I'm kind of addicted to this Maggie Holmes 
open book chipboard although I haven't used many of it I'm just I'm kind of hoarding it I guess but it's so pretty so let's see I don't know what to use all these little pieces pop out like this circle pops out of the black one. This one pops out of these. So let's use the outside of that. says today was magical. Okay. Y'all see me still trying to put this flower on there? Yeah, it's alright. We'll skip it. Okay, so I got some little doodads in here. I'm gonna get some of those sequins and put them in. I just use hot glue for my sequins, it's thicker. And I just use like a teeny bit right on the corner. dog barking she's outside I don't know if you can but if you hear barking that's our dog she's in the back and there's people outside so she's going kind of cuckoo I've, I use these big black sequins on my layout but they were so big um, the black stood out more than I really wanted it to and so I took my crocodile and punched around the little circle piece Let's see and I and I use that instead okay. so I'm gonna glue this on Few more little ephemera pieces just a tuck here and there sorry about my hand reaching over there I really want to put a flower on this layout but I don't I don't have anything I want something floral on there um, And this is the large gigantic. some of these stars on there too. These uh, stars are from Teresa Collins sequin pack. Um, I think from the Something Wonderful line. I don't know. Either that one or save the date, because those are the only two that I have, so. Alright. I 
All right, and there we go. So there's a quick card using some scraps. What about this arrow? Oh, it's too big. Okay, I think that's all we're going to do. So here's the card. I hope you guys like it. I'll be sure to take a picture. Um, and try to insert it at the end of the video. And um, hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching. Bye.